Welcome back to What Are Tea Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the 105 Lef H 18 v 2 the French Tier 5 Premium SPG that most people know as a Lefty or a Leaf Blower. Not the sort that you'd actually blow the leaves with though. It blows enemy tanks away. This one is located on the Eastbourne of Sand River under the command of Targi. Yes, he's back again. He sent us in another replay. In fact, actually, just the other day, somebody actually mentioned, or was it just today, actually, that, that they saw an advert for leaf blowers on Amazon. And they were very surprised because they thought Wargaming was being very advanced to sell the 105 FH-18B2 on Amazon, but it turned out it wasn't that sort of leaf blower. Anyway, <laughs> that joke apart, which is pretty awful to say the least, um, yeah, Toggy's uh, playing the leaf blower and he's lined up already on the ramp, anticipating that the enemy can turn up there and he's right. Ramps out. Oh, right into the front of that vehicle. That's a penetrating shot. That costs the Chi He 397 hit points. And the second shot wipes him out. That was perfect. Just what you want to see in a battle. Line up the shell on the enemy so the, uh, the first time they get spotted, they get fired on before they can even do anything about it. They're wiped out. Another direct hit, this time on the turret. You can see right next door to the turret ring. On that Churchill one, he fires in advance. That kind of pushed the guy back. Can he do it again? I think he probably can if he fires the round over the top. And he gets the engine deck this time. And he set light to him. The shell went right through the engine deck. The next shell hit the rock face. I suppose you can't get it all the time, but that's a lot of tar shots that were bang on target. And that shot, a blind shot, was also on target again. Okay, got slightly distracted there because there was a Churchill that decided to come up that ramp. And now he's gone back to the Churchill again. It was a Cromwell rub, not a Churchill. Okay, the first shot wasn't quite so accurate because he didn't dial in fully. But the next one will be bang on target. And it is. 186. And a nice big bang. Go for it again. Kill this one. And he does. Two kills now for Targi. He's the only player who's actually managed to get a kill on his team so far. Probably won't be the last, though. Okay, now, the Fifi won't fire over the entire range of the map, so you have to get close to the enemy sometimes, but this Hellcat's now in a whole world of trouble. Bit of a snapshot there, but... Oh, my God, he got him! He got him with that one. That was a snapshot, but it did hit the target. It hit the rear of the Hellcat. And I think the shell may have actually gone straight through the engine deck and wiped him completely out. So three kills now for Targi. It's almost like he's trying to set a record. Oh, two tanks at the same time. Oh, we can't ignore that. Rounds out. First shot misses. He's going for the Valentine AT first. The guy hasn't pulled back. He's gone. The next shot was fired in. Hits the wreck of the Valentine. So it would have hit him anyway. He's dialing in. T-78. No, it hits the rock face. Slight adjustment. Let it settle. Waiting for the T-78 to get spotted again. There it is. He's actually hugging the rock now. He daren't come out because he knows if he does, he's going to get fee-feed. Yes, he, he's very vulnerable, that guy. Right up at the other end of the map. That's by the cap area on the other end of the map. In the meantime, we've got a Panzer 38 New Art down in the dunes. That's the tier four German light tank. It's actually quite a good little tank, actually. It's very fast and does have a five centimeter gun, which means it can do decent damage. But he's moving quite quickly. That shell misses and he's into cover quickly. Yes, that tank is actually made from the same hull as the Hetzer and of course the Marder and the Gorilla. They all use the Acton T hull. Okay, well, we're looking up near the top of the, uh, the hill because there might be a Panzerfia Hydrostat up there. Oh, there is! He just hit him with a blind shot. This is interesting. 
No, he's pulled back now. He obviously didn't like that shell hitting him. No, it's landing short now. Needs to adjust slightly. In the meantime, in the dunes, we've got a Matilda. He's having to settle, let the, the aim dial in. That's the way you get these shells really accurate. Anticipate where he's moving. He did, he fired. And it looks like that rant landed just behind the Matilda. Sometimes you just need to, to let the aim settle and anticipate where the enemy tank is going. Okay, we've got one of those new tanks, the Honi, the Japanese tank destroyer, which should actually be an SPG because that's what it really was, not a, a tank destroyer. And he got a direct hit there on the Panzer III Alsung J. Going for it again. No, he's pulled away this time. Okay, that in the meantime, the Acton Dreisig Art has moved through the riverbed and is trying to get at our Basotto. There is enemy RT in the game. It's also a VP. Rouse out. Oh, that one hit his rear. Now, can he get the kill shot? He could do it. He can get this one in. He does. Four kills now for Targi. He's becoming a real terror with the VP. Okay, T-78. Same one he fired at before. Oh, that looked like it went through the... Uh, um, it went right through the rear of the turret as a ghost shell. He got that one in. That one definitely hit. He fires another one in. No, that one's going to miss. Yes, he was trying to get that one in through the bustle of the turret. We've just been spotted by the enemy. We fire one quick snap shot and kill the T-78. But we're being assaulted by this Cromwell. And yeah, he's already taken. Oh, dear. None of Targi's teammates stayed behind near the cap area to ensure that the cap was safe. And it looks like that Cromwell came in from the north and found where Targi was located and went straight to him. Even with that rock to protect him, there was no way that he was going to be able to stop that Cromwell assaulting him. And now he's out of the game. Well, we've got a G-Ro down there. Now, I think that's what, another one of those Japanese tank destroyers, one of the new ones that have come in. And it looks like he's trying to get the Cromwell that killed Targi. I mean, even though Targi didn't last the entire game, he still got a huge amount of damage. 1,848 recorded. And there's some blind shots in there as well that hadn't been recorded. And, of course, he did get a very large number of kills. He got five in total. One third of the enemy team. But it doesn't look so good now because there's only three left on his team. And there's five enemies. Now we've got a whole knee round the corner. Here it is. It is actually a, 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 a Japanese tank. Uh, it's in the game it's a tank destroyer. But it was actually a uh, SPG. That's what its main job was for the uh, Japanese. Well, we're going to follow what's going on. They could still win this, even though it's at two versus three now. The trouble is the enemy actually has our cap area. But they haven't started capping yet. I get the feeling they're waiting for our guys to get close. There's the Cromwell. Same Cromwell as before. The one that killed Targi. Meanwhile, the M4A3E8 is actually attacking the T1 Heavy. Now, he could be vulnerable, this uh, T-3485M driver, because that T1 Heavy might start shooting into his rear, and I think the, the person who's capping, well, the capper might be the T1 Heavy, actually. He might have changed course. No, he's not, actually. He's actually sitting there, and he did take a hit. So it means that the Panzer III Alsurum J is the one capping, and we've been tracked. Oh, this is not good. He's losing hit points at a... Terrible rate. In fact, actually, the Cromwell, which he thought was ahead of him, was actually sitting above 
shooting down on him. And that's it, the end of the game. Here's the end of battle stats, and that was the first class tanker for Targi in the 105 left H18B2. He managed to get a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He actually got five, one short of getting that top gun, and one third of the enemy team. He got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got 15 in this one, and he did get the high caliber for dealing the most damage in that game overall. His win eight was 7,609, which is super unicum and a lot more. Let's have a look at the team score. Well, definitely got the highest damage in the game, 2,374. The next highest scorer was the M4A3E8 on his own team with 2,024. And the third highest after that was the T78, the one he was trying to kill. Uh, in fact, no, the one he did kill, actually. What am I saying? He did get that last shot off before the Cromwell finished him off. Uh, 1,650 hit points of damage went to that guy. When it came to kills, he still had the highest with five. Three kills went to the E8 on his own team, the T78 and the enemy Fifi. And when it came to base XP, I'm afraid that's where the other team comes in because they get that. 913 goes to the T1 Heavy, 843 goes to the Cromwell, and 793 goes to the T3485M. But it was Targi that scored the highest amount of base XP on his own team. He fired 31 rounds, so he still had 19 rounds left at the end of the game. And he could have done a lot more damage if he was still alive. But I think it was his team that let him down because they should have had somebody watching over the gap to make sure that the enemy didn't come in by the back door. All they did is they disappeared off into the distance to try and, and win against the enemy and left Targi all on his own with no security. 14 direct hits on the enemy, three penetrating shots. He took out some lovely kills on the enemy where he actually hit them and just blew them to pieces with a, a shot in the right spot 17 splash damage of 2374 hit points all of it at more than 300 meters he received four hits from that cromwell three penetrated one non-penetration i think he hit the tracks there on that one but the three penetrations were enough to actually kill him seven enemy vehicles were damaged five were killed he was cheap cheated out of a top gun he would have got a top gun he killed that t78 and then turned around to deal with the cromwell afterwards as i said uh that's dedication to you so i'll get that target first then i'll deal with the cromwell uh <laughs> that really was and on the credit side on a premium county and twenty five thousand and fifty four credits from that battle and two thousand and fifty eight xp wow as he says <laughs> It, it was, um, as he said, he got the T-34 being salty for taking its kill. Well, the thing is that the, the fact is that he was working really, really hard to win that game. And for a long time in that battle, he was the only one to have any kills on his team as well. His teammates weren't exactly trying to exert themselves. They were just letting Targi do all the work for them. But uh, yes, it's sad because he died fairly on fairly early on in the game. If he'd actually lived a lot longer, I'm pretty sure they would have won that game for sure. But it was down to the fact they did not protect Targi. They didn't have somebody covering that ridgeline to make sure nobody could come in from the north. And I'm pretty sure that's where that Cromwell came from. Uh, we do have more replays coming for Targi soon, by the way. I actually found some that were sitting in my list. And I'm going to get those done soon. They are actually Fifi games as well. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to be interesting. If you enjoyed this one, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.